guys welcome to my channel my name is Edith and here on this channel we do all things cash stuffing um, budgeting we're a family of four trying to eliminate our debt and yeah get some good savings going on we're trying to achieve big things over here so let's go ahead and get started this is my very first ever first first ever YouTube video and I want to kind of go or tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I first came upon the budgeting world uh, beginning of March of this year. Um, I was just so taken aback by all the videos. I was instantly obsessed with cash stuffing videos. Um, I think my first video ever was Monet's Money here on YouTube. And I was just in awe of what she was doing. And I said, that is something I have to do. So here I am. Um, here we are, cash stuffing my paycheck. Um, number two of September, I do get paid semi-monthly. Um, and then what we're gonna be doing today is cash stuffing the amount of $1,365. And we are going to be doing our bills. Um, week one of our cash envelopes and then doing some of our sinking funds later on today i'm going to be recording another video and that will be our child tax credit number three okay but for now let's go ahead and get started i want to start off by um what should i do first yes i want to unstuff my wallet this is the wallet that i carry with me every day everywhere i go and we have some serious rollover guys like i was so impressed with what we had left over so we have 50 55 60 65 in groceries and i'm gonna put it right here because i'll show you what we're gonna do with that one um personal again i was very 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 happy that i had something in personal Yes, we have ten dollars. Toiletries has ten dollars, but that one is gonna roll over. Kids Fun has five dollars, that one's gonna roll over. And eating out, guys, we wasted nothing out of eating out. So again, I am very um this miscellaneous I'm gonna leave here, but we're gonna come back to it because I need to put that in household. I just don't want to get it mixed up over here. Um, and yeah, that's it guys. That hundred dollars I have to, it's not mine. I have to give it back. And that's it guys. So let's go ahead and put this guy, we counted this like a million times after I got home from the bank yesterday. So I don't have to count it because I am a really bad at counting, especially when there's 50s involved. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. We're not going to, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Okay. So trust me, there is $1,365 there. And I have a lot of ones, but you will see why I have a lot of ones, okay? There is a reason for my madness, okay? I have a gazillion. <laughs> I felt so bad going into the bank yesterday because I had the weirdest denominations and the lady was struggling. Oh wait, I have some 50, another 50 over here. I know I was missing 50. Um, and I kept telling her, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And she was like, oh no, you're fine, you're fine. But I know I wasn't, I know she wasn't. She was joking with me. We're gonna put that right there for now. So um, I do use this beautiful budgeting planner. It's from um, Beautifully, me and you here on YouTube, and I love it. I love it. It really makes sure that I stay on track. So this is what we're doing today. This is my bills right here, my cash envelopes. I divided it. So today we're doing week one. Next week we're gonna unstuff our wallet and do week two. The reason I'm doing it like this is because I feel like I, can, I will have more control of my money in my wallet if I do it this way and I won't be wanting to 
dip into the next week if I were to put both weeks together at the same time. I've caught myself doing that. Where let's say for example, I allotted myself $110, sorry, $220 for the two weeks. And I, I, I do use 110 the first week, but then let's say starting the beginning of next week, I need to use something for milk or eggs, something that I might forgot. Um, and I'll dip into week two but when I really need to buy the full amount of groceries for week two, I don't have that $110 and I end up dipping into the other categories and I don't want to do that. So that's why today we're only cash stuffing half of 220, which is 110. My sinking funds over here, I have Christmas. Um, I needed more space, so I went ahead and did that right there. I'm doing the $10 savings challenge. I'm doing $10 a week. So for two weeks, I'm going to do 20 and that gives me a total of zero dollars as you can see over here so we're gonna go ahead and get started so guys um let's see we're gonna start off with our bills our bills right over here now we are one month ahead on our bills so we at the end of the month i will go ahead and remove all of my bills um deposit into my bill pay account and that will pay for October's bills. Yes, right? Yes, October's bills. Oh, I, I don't know about you guys, but this month, this year has gone by so far. Sometimes I forget what month I'm in, and next thing you know, it'll be Christmas. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and do credit card. It's off first. I only have one more credit card to pay, guys. I am so freaking excited. So credit card now has 30. It will be getting another 20 and a 10 for another 30. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 50, 60. So 60 is my minimum payment. And I'm gonna show you what I do with my dead snowball further down the, um, this binder. Car loan gets 253. So it gets two $100 bills of 50 and $3. Oh, look at that. That's a disgusting one. Whatever. And the girl at the bank, she was so nice. She was making sure that all my bills were facing the same direction after I was giving her all that trouble with my denominations. She was still making sure that all my bills were facing the right directions. And yet I'm here having a hard time. Okay, so we should have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 506. And car loan is fully funded. Guys, I made these envelopes myself and I am obsessed. I love them. I love them. Car insurance is getting 205. 205 for car insurance and it has 150. So we're gonna be doing two $100 bills and $5. Now, I my car insurance went up and I don't know what to do, but let's count this first. It should be 355. 100, 200, 355. We do have three cars in our car insurance. And the reason why my car insurance went up, my car, I had to call and find out, um, was because we do commute a lot. My husband and I do commute to and from work. It is about a 40, 45, 50 minute drive for each of us each way. Um, so, which means we are putting a lot of miles in our cars, which, you know, I understand it's more of a risk that him and I get into an accident or whatever because we're driving so much to and from work. So, I guess, I mean, it is what it is, but yeah, it went up $55. Subs is getting $15, a 10 and a five, and this includes um, Hulu, Netflix, so it should be $30 here, 10, 20, 25, 30 in, monthly subscriptions utilities utilities is getting $57 so it's getting a 50 
God, sorry. Um, five and two in utilities. I put a sticky here because I just needed $57 to complete this fund. Now, I know that is not half, but usually at the beginning of the month, I'll try to put about $150 towards my utilities. And then at the end of the month, I'll go, or my second half, I will go ahead and put less. So that gives me more money to put into sinking funds or whatnot. So right now it has 100, 200, five, $207 for utilities. This includes my electric and my water bill, okay? Health insurance is getting $16. So that is a 10, a five, and a one. Okay, so I have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 in health insurance. This is for my kids' health insurance. Cell phone is getting $42, so that should be two 20s and two singles. Again, I need a little post it. Perfect. So this should be fully funded as well. Sorry guys, I have to fix my bills, otherwise I will go crazy. Okay, so it should have a total of 135. 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 1, 35. Ready to go to the bank also. Annual gets twenty dollars. I'm sorry, guys. My this envelope is falling apart. I cut it too short here, and it's split open. So, annual gets a twenty dollar bill, and in annual, what I pay with annual is Sam's membership, Costco membership, and our AAA, and they are all due about March. They're all due in the same month, March. So, um, I have twenty, thirty. 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. $77 in annual. Trash disposal is getting $30. Now this I pay every three months. It's 136 every three months. So today it's getting a 20 and a 10. Guys, I just realized I might have messed up my denomination somehow. <sighs> we shall see at the end of the video. So a trash disposal has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105. So we're getting really close. I already have um, my payment for the next three months in the bank. So that one's paid off. Internet is getting $30. 20 and a 10. And now have some in the bank for this already so it now has 20 35 35 in internet okay that snowball is getting a $30 so this is what I do guys so you saw at the beginning I have my credit card envelope I do one payment there, one minimum payment there, and then I do another minimum payment here. So that snowball is getting $30, a 20, and a 10, 20, 10. So 20, 40, 50, 65. I think those fives were floating around somewhere. I didn't know where it belonged to, so I just threw it in that snowball. So 65, so now it's like I'm making two minimum payments and i have i think on that credit card i have about 400 dollars left to pay off and we will be good next guys we're moving on to my wallet like i said this wallet is what i carry around with me every day we are going to start off by stuffing groceries groceries is getting 110 dollars all in 20s 
No, 110. Sorry. 520s and 110. God, I don't know how to do my math. Okay, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. 110 in groceries. Also, I did make these envelopes myself. I love them. Personal. Um, personal is getting $50, so it is getting... No, sorry. Personal is getting $25. $50 per week. Uh, in the two weeks combined but today it's getting 25 so we're doing two 20s and a five just like that no what are they doing oh my god guys i am so sorry that is 45 what are you doing edith so 25 25 oh my goodness god help me today gas is getting 100 dollars. so all 20s here too 20 40 50 okay and gas toiletries is getting ten dollars and it has ten dollars already so toiletries now has twenty dollars kids fun is getting ten dollars and this is it's, not, it's more of like their snack envelope if they want a starbucks they want frozen yogurt this is where it's coming from and they're very smart um one day they wanted to go somewhere and i said well do you guys have any money and my daughter's like well i think we have money in your wallet mama in my little in the little envelope that says kids fun so they know they have money in there eating out is getting fifty dollars and eating out we're trying really good we're trying very hard i should say not to spend any now, but it's there in case we need it. Daycare is getting $50 and it's getting our last $50 there. Giving, we're not doing giving today, unfortunately. Okay, and that was that, guys. Now, let me find my next sheet here. We're going into our sinking funds. We're going to be stuffing a total of $312 into our sinking funds. I'm so excited. I don't know about y'all, but let's go ahead and I want to start with my $10 challenge. So let me go ahead and pull my tracker for that. I love this budgeting book because it has this little guy here, which is what I'm using this emer this uh, savings envelope that I have in my binder. It's for my emergency fund. And today we're gonna be stuffing $20. So we're gonna color that in. Okay, do not tell me that I do not know how to color because I I obviously know that I am not very good at coloring but today we're gonna be doing $20 so let's move that out of the way let's go to our savings where is that guys where in God's name is that oh right here okay savings is getting two $10 bills right here Okay, we're gonna add that to the mix. Count it. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90. 190, guys, in our emergency fund. Okay? Beautiful. Okay, let's go back to the front. Christmas is getting $5. We have a goal of six hundred and six or six hundred and fifty dollars for Christmas. So let's go ahead and add our uh, five. Now let's count it. We have one hundred twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred fifty, five, fifty, six, fifty, seven, three fifty seven. Wow. That is bulking up really nicely. Now miscellaneous is getting 
um, the 50 rollover from our takeout. So there's that miscellaneous. And let's go ahead and then this is just for, I would say like extra, extra emergency fund. I don't know. So 100, 20, 40, 50. 150 in miscellaneous, guys. My daughter is getting $20, and I want to show you guys what I did with this, okay? So, they have a high yield savings account in Capital One um, that I have just been automatically transferring money. Once I get paid, I just automatically transfer it. But I thought it would be more satisfying to actually be able to count what they have in their envelope. So I got me some prop money. They have, let's see, Leilani has $264 in the bank. Today we're going to be adding $20. So all this here is prop money. I'm going to add the $20, the real $20 money, at the end of the month or at the end, or, or once I get another $100, I will remove the $100, put all prep money here, and deposit that money so that it can, you know, accumulate interest in the bank. So now she has 100, 200, 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. And I am doing the same thing for my son. My son is also getting $20. I think he has 100, 200, 50, 65, 66. He's also getting $20. I'm going to put that in here and count it again. So Nico now has 20, sorry, 20, 100, 200, 50, 70, 80, 85, 86. 286 for him. Okay. The hubby is getting $5. He has nothing because pff, sometimes he be spending more than I do, okay? So he only has $5. That's all he's getting. My mom and my dad are getting $10, and they have $10 in there. House. Um, this is furniture or decorations for house. Is getting um, this one is getting five dollars so let's go ahead and do another five dollar here okay and again guys a lot um, I don't know if I mentioned this but a lot of my sinking funds today are getting like one dollar two dollar three dollars just because we had to pay extra on the car insurance and you know car maintenance I had to you're gonna see car registration I had to updo also because one of our car registrations is coming up so a little more money went into that and a little less into our sinking funds so um, just very little amounts going in there even though I did work more hours than I usually do but I had to do that because um, I knew I had stuff I needed to pay so um, Vacation is getting $2. Vacation right now is not a priority for us. We did take a really nice summer vacation with the kids. So right now we have plans for other things that doesn't include vacation or, you know, we still do fun stuff with them. We go on weekend excursions and stuff like that. But a long, like a week or two weeks off, of just, you know, just going on vacation is not in the work for us right now. It's not something that we're planning for. But I'm still stuffing two or three dollars every paycheck because why not? So vacation now has five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen in vacation. Um, and I think that is it for this binder. Let's go into my low priority sinking bonds. Back to school is getting one dollar. Now my kids did go back to school already, but I decided to keep this envelope because there's always always things that they need when they're in school they always need a new backpack new shoes or they start joining or doing activities at school they need money for this money for that so I decided to keep this envelope and just keep stuffing it as I go with you know little like today it's only getting a dollar because it has $25 in there so now has 26 Weekends 
is getting $10. Now this is our weekend spent money. If we wanna go out, have dinner, it's very separate from my wallet money, my eating out wallet money because that money I use for anything during the week. So if there's a night in particular that I am super tired after work, I don't wanna cook, I'll stop and get something, I'll use it from there. So now um, weekends has 20, 30, 41. 41 in weekends. Kids allowance is getting $20 and I'm doing it all in once because um, both of my kids go to school. They Every day they'll ask me for a dollar to buy snacks at school. So it's better to have it in once. That's why I had a lot of ones today. So kids allowance is getting 20, 20. Seriously, Edith? Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, uh, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's go ahead and count that again because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Twenty dollars for their allowance. And this will be good for two weeks. Because I have two kids, each one gets a dollar per day, so that is ten dollars a week, right? Am I doing math correctly? I think I am. Household is getting thirty, and it has nothing because there was quite a few things that we needed to get, so it's getting three tens. Oh, look at that! Two, just the exact amount: ten, twenty, thirty in household. Okay. Costco gets the leftover grocery, okay? This one is new, guys. I don't think I'm putting in anything into this one. Oh yeah, I'm putting $6 into fun and this is just kind of something special that we might wanna do on the weekends. Like the kids, if there's a good movie in the theater, we'll go and do that. This is what that's for, okay? Fun is getting $6. Five, six. For now, we've been keeping it, they've been wanting to go to the movies for the longest time, but there's no, really there's no good movies out there right now for kids, so we're not gonna do it right now. Beauty Bar, my envelope, or my personal envelope gets $10, and that will be a $10 bill. Like that. Amazon is getting $2, and Amazon has $3. That's it! Oh my goodness! Ugh, I need to stop spending so much on Amazon. It's like addicting. Who else? Okay, I have a confession to make. Who else has their Amazon packages delivered to work? Because I will be getting Amazon packages not so much anymore, but before I started my budgeting, oh my goodness, I would get like three or four packages delivered to work because I don't want to see, I didn't want my husband to see. All the purchases I was making on Amazon <laughs> I was just like um, I'm gonna have it delivered to work and my office manager every time he would get the mail he's like seriously another one I'm gonna have to call your husband you know it was like a joke it was like it was seriously a joke and now I don't I don't I've told him the other day I said have you noticed I don't have any more Amazon packages delivered here he said well where are you having them delivered I said nowhere I just don't buy as much anymore so whatever this this budgeting system has really helped me get a hold of my expenses because i am a spender but yeah um war um birthdays is not getting anything work expenses or like this is for my husband and i he recently had to grab somebody here because he needed some work boots so good thing i have that there and i need to save up because i need to buy me some new work attire and work expenses now has ten dollars car registration is getting eighty seven dollars yeah so we have eighty five eighty six eighty seven okay so we have Losing it right now. Okay, car registration. 
and these these tags are seriously due um, tomorrow so I have to get online and pay these and then just pay myself back by depositing the money so let's see what do we have 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 45 50 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 56, 256, yay, and I only need 220, but, but, I got my husband's car registration renewal in the mail yesterday, I don't even, I don't even want to discuss how much that is, but I'm going to tell you, because it is $411 for his car registration renewal. And I'm stressing about it because it's due the end of November. So after that, I we can relax for the rest of the year because our dues, our tags are not, don't start getting or don't start being due until July. We have one, September, and then November. Yeah. So, God, these car registrations are killing me. We have car maintenance. We are going to add five dollars to car maintenance. So we have twenty, thirty-five in car maintenance. Yep. Gifts is getting one dollar. I don't have any birthdays coming up until the end of October, so I have time to save up for that. But this is this, is, this envelope right here is not a priority for us right now. Clothing shoes. This is clothing and shoes for the family. We have 10 and 1. I don't foresee us needing anything within the next two weeks or something. Pet food gets 15. We don't have any dogs or cats, guys, but we do have chickens and roosters and recently added parakeets to our beloved family. So pet food gets $15. So it has a 10. And there should be five, or I'm screwed. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Ugh, I'm telling you. I should have had an extra five, but I don't, so whatever. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 in pet food. Meds or copayments gets $1. It has 20 and 1. So now it has, what did I say? Now it has 20, 41, 41. And medicine or co-pays, property taxes is getting $1. I do need to beef this up guys because my property taxes, it is 463 every April and November. So I have 200, 10, 20, 5, 26. 226. It's coming up. November. End of November. And that is it, guys. This is it for my. Oh, no, no, never mind. What am I going to do with this money? I have 10, 20, $30 left over. So, miscellaneous got my $50 rollover from takeout. Costco got $20 or some. So what do I do with this, guys? What do you think I should do? Oh, I know. I'm going to give my hubby $10 more because he only has $5 in his envelope, and I'm really sad about that. So now hubby has $15. Okay. And I'm going to give my parents $5 more. Gives them a total of $25. Perfect. Oh, no. Not that bad. Right. That is a nasty five. Okay. And I want to see how much household has at the end of this video because I feel household needs to be beefed up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Household only. Oh, well, household got, got 30 but I know there's a couple of things that I need to get, so... Household is getting more. Household is getting 20 more. So now household has 10, 20, 30, 45. 45 in household. 
Yay guys, we did it. I am so excited. So this completes my very first YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. I seriously, I love doing this. I love doing cash stuffing videos. They are just really exciting to do and watch. I love watching your guys' cash stuffing videos. So please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.